let's get right to it bro this is 80s crazy form get up get up Maki says to get, get up. up get up That little, that little hip hop beat, bro. Okay. Okay. Oh, they're using big words. Okay, so what is it? Like an agent? Like a double O? Like a double agent? This is different. Ooh. It gives me like a little hip hop, ragamorphin kind of thing. Yeah, sure it does. The video is kind of super fast kind of thing. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I know, I know. Oh, I like the beat. I like the video though. I mean, it, it's super fast, but I like it. Yeah, man. It's not, it's not bad. It's kind of, it's vibrant, you know. Did he just show the middle finger? <laughs> Good, good. They're gonna break it down. It's like a, like a James Bond kind of thing, you know? Mission Impossible. Agent. It sounds like uh, something you would hear at the club in Miami, bro. Right? Like the beat? That, that was the best part of the song right there. Yeah, that was the best part of the song. Yeah, the beat, I like, I like the beat the whole time I liked it, from beginning until the end. I love 80s, by the way. They're one of my top five uh, K-pop bands. My top fives are obviously uh, BTS, Stray Kids, 80s card well i got some new guys some new uh groups that i like uh, and high fan we got a bunch of them that i like maybe i'm missing right. somebody but this one not my favorite no i mean that's a fair uh critic yeah, I, mean, I mean eric when somebody releases an, an album you're not gonna like every single every song. song right right and you know what i realized sometimes i might listen to a song and then i wasn't really feeling it much but then if i listen to it again Right. Or a couple times after, right. like three, four, five, six times, then it starts to grow on me. I feel like this is one of those that I'm, I, I have to listen to it more than once. The video was nice, but the song itself, I wasn't vibing till the end. Like the new Stray Kids album, we did the reaction on Megaverse. Right. And it was amazing. I already listened to the entire album and there's three songs that I really like in this in the album and the rest right. I wasn't vibing with. When I'm comparing it to other 80s songs like Say My Name, Answer, Deja Vu, you know, Bouncy, right. stuff like that, which right. I love their songs. This one was not in was it's not even near the top for me. And and but again, this is my taste. Unless you're like a super fan, and just because you're a super fan, anything anything is a hit. Like there's people that are super fans of, like let's say Taylor Swift. 
she has a lot of beautiful songs, but there are songs that me personally, no, I'm like, okay, Eric, I, it's impossible for you to like every song. But, but a super fan will like it just because it's Taylor Swift. Yeah, but that's that's then you're in you reality. What I'm trying to say? No, because in reality, you're not. You're you're just obsessed. I know three people right now, three girls, that to me they are the biggest BTS fans in the world. They're one of the biggest mm. BTS. The only thing they don't have is BTS tattoos. Mm. But. Eric, I'm talking collection. I'm talking when you go in their rooms, er, their bed sheets are BTS. Their walls, they have uh, um, posters of BTS. They have the, collect their underwear, their co right? Underwear, bro. I'm talking everything, right? You go in their rooms, it's all BTS. Backpack right. BTS. They even have the little collectible dolls BTS. If BTS comes to 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 the United States. Even if they don't come to Miami, if they come to Chicago, to Las Vegas, wherever, they'll fly they'll to go, go see BTS live. Right, right. The album that John Cook just released, they didn't like every single song on the album. Just because you're a fan doesn't mean every single song on the album is gonna you're gonna like. But I use the word super fan. They're Eric, all man, super these, fans. These girls are super fans, man. I mean, okay, we'll leave it for debate. I, I want to hear from you guys watching us right now. Yeah, what, yeah, yeah. You because, guys tell me. Because I do feel like there's some people that anything the person does, they love simply because it's the person. And I they just love think these the people person. are obsessed. I love music, all kinds of music. We, you know, we listen to everything, a bit of everything, whatever. I think the only perfectionist that took his time for every single song and until the song came out perfect he wouldn't release the song even in these videos michael jackson and even not, then eric do you think me, i like every michael jackson song i love me i love every michael jackson song you all of them. really man all of them michael jackson bro there's not one song you so right now if i go to from album to album i'm not gonna find one song that you're not really eh, it's okay I, and i'm not like a super fan i'm just a fan and i love all of his songs Yeah, yeah, I'm telling you. Let's leave it for debate. Guys, <laughs> let us know who's right on this subject. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave right. us some comments. Don't forget to subscribe, share, thumbs up, and we'll see you next time.